Hello, uh, this is a picture of an asp in front of a nebula. I know, I've drawn one of them before. I might have drawn one more than once. I've certainly drawn crates in front of nebulas as well, which is the modern version of the asp in front of. Uh, I like this nebula, it's really bright and cheerful and colourful. They look so amazing on the outside, and then you go inside and they look completely different. This is the crab nebula, and it, it, it looks great in, on the outside, and it, it sort of looks kind of weird, like, I don't know, sort of a quite kind of red frog spawn on the inside. Peculiar, strange lattice like uh, Star Trek y webby business going on. Anyway, this is me doing uh, the space round it, all the area outside. Yeah, and, uh, and, and uh, a junky little asp on the left hand side at the bottom is going to get there. But I'm just going to put in some of the, the various different colours that, uh, that you can see in, the, in this nebula. It's, it's, a, it's a funky one, it's got several different shades of, of, of orange and blue in there. Yeah, that midnight blue through to kind of fish tank aquarium colours. Yeah, it's, it's a cool, cool nebula actually. Like it. Yeah, that, uh, the asp was, was always the go to first really good ship, in my opinion. You can carry lots of cargo. I, I used mine for ages. I used mine for quite a long while. I was really pleased when I um, when I have enough money in to buy it and, and equip it. What I was most impressed by, which is a bit daft really, was that it had six guns. It could carry loads of cargo and it had six guns. So I could travel quite long distances because it had a decent frame shift drive and I could shoot things down the NPCs and whatnot and I could carry loads of cargo on it it was just the, the perfect all-round vessel at that point since then they brought in engineering and other ships I guess as well yeah it's, it's for me it was always better than the Diamondback well, I do have a Diamondback I love very much mine was called the Lave Runner my Asp Explorer it uh, took me back and forth carrying uh, rare goods from the leave cluster to my uh, my home systems carrying my various different rare goods <laughs> i yes i did and I, I still enjoy flying it i've got a, a leave com paint job on mine which is nice like orange flames which looks really good this one's uh, in stock colors actually this this one is but uh, i didn't really want to detract from the, the colors in the nebula particularly I had this picture of the asp, so I thought I'll use that one. This is a giveaway for um, Father Bill was running a charity stream buying um, gaming computers which come on trolleys that you can take into hospitals for kids that are stuck there and getting bored, which I thought was a rather lovely uh, charity stream to do. And so I thought, well, I'll, I'll bang a picture in the giveaway pond. And uh, so this is the person who won that picture has asked for a uh, an asp in the crab nebula. So this is an asp in the crab nebula. There you go. I, I like the angularity. A lot of people like the curves of the imperial ships, but I, I just like the geometry of the asp. It's 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 a good solid 3D blocky shape. And you're sitting in the cockpit. You can see really well. You can see down and round and up up above yourself. It's you just put the head look on. You see all around yourself. The, the view is incredible in the asp. You've got such good visibility. I mean. You know, nowadays I use, uh, I've got a cutter that can go further and I've got a crate that can go further. But certainly I love that asp, but I still use it here and there. It still gets used. Apparently there's a there's another little, well I've, I've seen it, it floated around and had a good look underneath. There's another little cockpit below your feet, underneath, like almost like a multi-crew cockpit. It's got no dashboard though, but it's got a little chair though, big viewing screen. So if you're like... King of the Asp, you could sit in that and order people to do your bidding, maybe. But yeah, I don't know how you'd get into that. It'd be interesting if you get to walk around in these ships. Clearly it exists, this little room. <laughs> A hidden cockpit, A little tiny one <laughs> underneath. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I, I could have made this look more dark, uh, like it's coming out of the darkness, to be honest. But uh, but I like I like the brightness of it anyway. But certainly the original picture is, uh, is had a darker background, obviously, what with space being quite dark. And you've got the idea of it being superimposed on top of this darkness, whereas this is just a blob, a bit more blobby. But I don't mind that too much. Anyway, well, thank you for watching as ever. And I will uh, shut up now. <laughs> Bye.